in these hot and cruel streets where people stay strong despite the challenges, dedicated in what they do despite the hardships, hard working to bring something home for their families, in order determined to do anything in order to make a productive day. People who are perseverant despite the odds that bound them and are patient, purposeful, oriented to fulfill their goals. People who are willing to take any risks and are always being wise in life. These are the people who bring face to the streets of Dumaguete City, working for themselves, for their children, for their families. The next portion of the video would be a face-to-face -face interview with the vendors. We have strategized to as much as possible not expose the faces of the vendors since some of them do not have permits to sell. We are heading to one of the busiest areas of the downtown. Here is one among many of the Apple vendors here. This is the area near Lee Super Plaza where many vendors flock. Since the vendors do not have permits, at times when confiscators are near, the vendors will rush and bring their products somewhere far so that it will not be confiscated and they will not be fined. As you can see, there are many vendors in this area, therefore there are no confiscators nearby. We had a chance to interview three of the fruit vendors in this area. The other side is a candy and cigarette vendor. We continued walking until we found another group of fruit vendors. <laughs> we can observe that there is a great competition in this area since there are many vendors who will compete for buyers. We continued walking until we have found an old lady who has been selling in this very area for more than 15 years. If progress comes to those who wait, that I believe that she has waited enough, yet progress remains a missing piece in her life. These vendors are now carrying their products away from the site of the confiscators. The question remains, why? Why do they risk themselves? even if they know that they might be caught. Why do they indulge into an unsure business?
Why do they work so hard for it? The answer is simple. They all want and they all need progress. Progress who has been running away from the hands of Filipinos. But I know that there will be one day that all our efforts and sacrifices will pay off.